ambition can be applied to really anything, yeah. you know, like you're ambitious to like create like an amazing family, to create a career, to reach your dreams. Like I, I've never met, so I never thought I would meet someone as ambitious as me. Sometimes I feel like my ambition is like debilitating. How about a firework fails? The 4th of July week, we did firework fails. Uh, we have so many stories about this. Let's start with our firework fail this year. Do we tell the story? Sure. So like we live in Newport Beach and we live on the peninsula in Newport Beach. And f- 4th of July here is, yeah. is, is huge. Like it's always been huge. <clears throat> it's, we have like parades and little carnivals and everyone comes down to the beach. Like pe- there's a flood of people on the streets and, you know, fireworks are illegal, but like everyone does it like everyone does it. So after the sun sets on 4th of July, we live on like like the sand is like right there. So when we <clears throat> when the sun sets, everyone goes out to the sand, everyone that's vacationing here, locals, people ride their bikes down to go. And on the sand, it's like pitch black. You know, the ocean's right there. And everyone just and there's the beach is very like wide. You would say, is it wide with mm-hmm. So there's a ton of rooms. People just go out into the darkness where there's like a spot of sand, light off fireworks. And then like people are sitting down watching them all or whatever. There's thousands of people on the beach. I mean, so many people. And like everywhere you look, there's fountains and big fireworks and small and sparklers and every kind of firework. So we get a bunch of fireworks this year. And well, yeah, we got like little sparklers. We got little like, like fountains. Yeah, they're not little like, sparklers. They were not like the big the big fireworks or anything mortars are the ones that go up in the air yeah they weren't those yeah. <clears throat> so we go out because like it's cool you know for the boys to see and boys are like into like you know stuff like that yeah. like explosives you know so we, we we go out and i'm like <clears throat> we take a little basket of fireworks just like everyone else out there and i'm like you know i, I make like max light them because like i i never really actually did fireworks when i was little so it makes me like a little bit nervous myself like i don't feel like i'm the best one but you and your dad and all them. You guys used to do all the time. So he goes out into the middle of the darkness <clears throat> to lay some fireworks. We laid up a couple of fountains. And actually, our fireworks were so small that <clears throat> our, everyone else around us started booing our fireworks because they were so unimpressive to them. Like, they wanted to see, like, the big dogs, you know? So we lit off the first couple just for the boys. Like, anything is, like, impressive for the boys, you know? And, you know, people were like, boo, like more. In fact, there was like one dude that started running through our fireworks because he thought they were such like baby fireworks. He like was like running through, like leaped over while it was like exploding and stuff. So like that's how not threatening our fireworks were. Meanwhile, you look around and there's ones that are shooting up into the sky and just like yeah. exploding like huge, like big, legit illegal fire. Yes. Like on the beach right next to us. Yeah. Like as far as the eye can see. In either as direction. far as the eye can see in both yeah. directions. Yeah. So then we're like, the boys are like, cool, cool, cool. They do some sparklers. I'm like, let's light up a couple more and then they'll pack it up and we'll like go home. Like We don't need to do anymore. So Max goes out and he has like three little like fountains and he was going to light all three and that was going to be like the last ones that we do. So he goes out there into the darkness to like light it and I see him like bend down, start lighting and all of a sudden I see flashlights and I'm like, oh shit. And like two or three cops walk up to him as he's about to light the fountains. And they're like, drop the lighter, sir. Drop the lighter. Step away from the fireworks. And all of a sudden, the entire, I mean, there's hundreds of people around, which Max is not like being the center of the tension like that. Like, and really I also uncomfortable. Don't like rules. I didn't want it. No, he's like not a rule breaker. He was already nervous about it in the first place. Yeah. <clears throat> We're doing something we shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. And I mean, the cops are just doing their job. Like, it's fine. But it was just like, what are the chances that we're letting off these baby fireworks? There's thousands of people on the beach, arguably hundreds of fireworks. Yeah. People that are setting off fireworks. I have trouble. I'm sitting next to them. The cops. I can't even hear them because the fireworks are literally being lit like right next to us that are illegal. Like. Are going up in yeah, the air. so they're like, writing him. They're writing it's like him peak a, level irony. Like, yeah, it you know, totally so. was. So I'm catching the whole thing on video because yeah. I know how mortified he is, and I'm like, I've got to just capture this moment because My like boys it's 20 are watching years. Me. This is going to be yeah. so funny. The kids are watching me get arrested. Yeah, and it's so funny because like the personality of my boys is just like of our boys is so. 
hilarious to me. So Kenzie's like, oh my God, is that, are those, that that's the cops? Like, is, are we doing something wrong? Like, you know, and I was like, well, technically, like we're not really allowed to be like out here on a public beach, like let, lighting these fireworks. So they're probably going to give dad a ticket, but it's fine. Like they're not going to like arrest him or anything. Daddy will just, you know, comply and answer their questions. It'll be okay. And my younger one, Leo, who has my personality, is like, I will kill those cops. <laughs> I will throw them in a trash can and they'll they be go gone forever. forever. <laughs> yeah, they be gone forever. <laughs> like, they better get away from my dad. Yeah. You know, and he's like yeah. so protective. It's just like, <clears throat> it was really actually cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, no, no, Leo, like, I know, like, we're trying to protect dad or whatever, but the police are just doing their job. And I try to use it as like a, at least like a teaching moment. Yeah. Like, cost us freaking however many. Yeah, it's so it was expensive. expensive trip to the beach. Yeah, yeah very expensive trip to the Way beach. Way more than the firework cost. Oh my God. Yeah. So then all the, he's getting written out this ticket and everyone is booing booing the cops (laughs) because they're like, this is ridiculous. Like their fireworks were like freaking sparklers. And then meanwhile, people are lighting off shows like all around him. But the video I was taking, Max is getting written this like ticket, very expensive ticket. And then I just like pan to the right and there's just a giant fireworks (laughs) going off like right behind the cops. They're not going to find those guys, the ones that are lighting off like the real deal fireworks. They're just right in Max up for his sparklers you know and it was just like it was whatever it is what it is like we took the risk and we have to pay now but or it's, did pay yeah, whatever yeah, it's it fine a, it's a teaching moment teaching moment yeah for everyone they, they're, they're still on their job that's what I tell the boys the boys are really upset with the cops I'm like listen they'd rather be with their families like they don't they would rather yeah. not be out writing tickets to totally dads <laughs> fucking doing sparklers on the beach like one of the cops is a rookie cop and you know it's it's you know it's they're just doing their job yeah right? But it was definitely a firework fail. That's for sure. Big do you have any fail. other firework? You did. I didn't do fireworks as a kid. I wasn't allowed to do anything cool or fun. But like, did you? You guys did a lot of that stuff when yeah, you were younger. Yeah, we did a lot. Would, did anything ever happen? I let one off in my hand one time. A penny firecracker that it blew up my in my hand. And I thought like blew my hand off. <laughs> but they're like the smaller ones that like people do like them and, and let them go in their hand because they're not super powerful. That scared the shit out of me. Um, my my dad. This is funny. It's like a lot of my childhood. My dad would do like a mortar. He would get mortars. So the ones that you like put in the tube. So you'd have a PVC pipe inside a concrete, a bucket that had concrete in it. And he would light them off. <laughs> and one time he did like two or something. And like it went off and it exploded like this way and up. And we were like, whoa, that's crazy. And we look and like the bottom of it had gone like missing. <laughs> and we're like, what just happened? And it went up in the air. It like exploded and went up in the air. And it was like raining down on the trees around us. It was kind of. Didn't hit anyone? No, it didn't hit anyone. <laughs> That's why. But they almost burnt the house down or, or, or something. It was a, there's a, they have a story where they all, the house I grew up in almost burnt down from a firework accident. Oh, really? Yeah. Laying on the roof it caught or something? the roof on fire or something. Oh, my yeah, God. And it, just, it just sprayed off. That's just dangerous, man. It it's is dangerous. So dangerous. I get it. Um, I think that's all for I have for. Oh, last one. Things that annoy the fuck out of you about your partner. Like, what does your partner, your wife, do that annoys the fuck out of you? You can only pick like two things. I don't. I can't think of. I mean, I know. I know. There's many. There's a lot of them. I just can't think. Of, like, I don't like write them down. You can think of some. Come on. Actually, I do have them written down. Okay, this is probably from our therapy session or something. It was, shit. and then I just never really got to. Amazing. Um, I think the thing that annoys me the most about Max, like hands down, is his poor tone and his like facial expressions that say like you're an idiot without saying you're an idiot, like his facial expressions. <laughs> and you guys actually write me all the time on Instagram and Instagram and mm. reference his facial expressions. And then like you guys think they're like funny and you're like, oh my God, they kills me. Like he is looking at you like you're a moron. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, But try actually being the person in that conversation and you're married to the man that's constantly looking at you like you're dumb and that you like internalize that. Like that annoys me so much because he has a great heart and I don't think that deep down you think that I'm dumb, but like your facial expressions and your tone are so condescending sometimes. And that just, that sends me. It sends me. Huge trigger for me. (laughs) What about for you? I don't know. I don't really have. I couldn't find the list. I'm perfect. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. No, I think it's, it's, uh, um, how dirty your car gets. That really annoys me. No, um, that you don't put things away that you take shits for 45 oh, minutes. Oh, wait, you're talking about me. Okay. 
You <laughs> dick. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything right now. Your hygiene sometimes. The fact that you don't shave your balls. I was going to do that, but I got sick yesterday. It's always something, babe. Yeah. It's always something. Yeah. But then there's amazing things, too. Like, I've never met someone that works as hard as you, that's as ambitious as you. I mean, except for myself, I guess. <laughs> You know, when I was getting married to Max at my bridal shower, my sister planned this game for me where like uh, yeah, this is a good story. we had to answer like she got with Max before the bridal shower, asked him a bunch of questions. And then she asked me those same questions. And like, how would Max answer this? You know, like and we had to have the same answer for things. And I honestly crushed it. And like, I think one of the things were like, you know, what what's Nancy's favorite thing about you? And you said my ambition. Mm -hmm. And when she asked me at the bridal shower, I was like, oh, easy, his ambition. <laughs> and they were so shocked that I got that answer because it was like, a, you know, what's your favorite thing about the person you're going to marry? Like his ambition. But it really is because the ambition can be applied to really anything. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you're ambitious to like create like an amazing family, to create a, a career, to reach your dreams, like to have a, a nourished like relationship you're invested in like ambition could be like a wide range and i i've never met so i'd never thought i would meet someone as ambitious as me sometimes i feel like my ambition is like debilitating if that even makes sense um like i i'm so ambitious sometimes i feel like my body's gonna explode like i don't even know what to do with it do you ever have that feeling where you're like you like you want it so bad and you're like so you get so like amped about it that you're like, you don't even know what to do with yourself because of it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been kind of beating myself up over that for the past like 24 hours. <laughs> like beach is being sick. I was yeah. like, I, cause I feel like he was in bed yesterday. That's the sick. only thing that could like, I can point to like, cause I've been like really dialed on my nutrition, really dialed on my fitness. And it's gotta be like work related or just like stress related. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I think like, you, know. you can't never get sick. I mean, it just it <laughs> no, is no, what it I is. know, I know. But if you look at like the thing is of like you know, it's just kind of like it was kind of like you know, I need to I need to have another outlet. Do you guys like our, our to, like star of the show, the fucking fly? Yeah, so then you I, have to have another outlet to do what you think? Just decompress. Yeah, because like my thing is I'll play video games, which yeah. I really enjoy. But that, again, that kind of like amps me. Up. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, all right, I gotta make fucking champ like. I can't just play to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play it like and just enjoy myself. I was I like, know. no, I'm going to play it and try to play it at a really high level or else I'm not even going to play it at all. So I've been trying to get back into the beach a little bit more and do like an hour yeah, a day that. just to like, you know, just to decompress because I don't have it like. And then I guess I mean, you know, just yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's ambition is like, you know, you're, it's, it's, the, it's the growth mindset, right? It's like, hey, whatever you're going to do, you can be really good at it, or else you're just not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dual edged sword for sure. It is. Yeah. I agree. Um, okay, that's all for Wild Wednesday. I think we'll take a couple questions from the community if you're up for it. Um Okay. We'll just take a couple. So what um what are your non negotiables in a relationship? His and hers. Mm. You go first. My non-negotiables in a, a relationship. <laughs> probably that you like my partner has to have like the want and desire to like provide and succeed. And not just like well, definitely with like money and success. But with everything else, like willing to um, the wants to continuously like grow and improve, like nothing annoys me more than the person that's so stuck in their own mindset and ways that they're literally unable to grow because they hit a certain point in their life. And like, that's their ceiling. Um and that's fine if that's some people's journeys, whatever. I just couldn't spend my life with someone like that because I like constantly want to bust through the ceiling and get to another one and bust through that one and get to another one. And um, you call it maybe like ambition or self-growth or self-reflection or the desire to continuously learn or explore or have, you know, different creative ideas or improve relationships, become a better parent. But 
you know, I think that is a non-negotiable for me. People that are able to self-assess and continuously improve across the board, I think. That's definitely you. I mean. Mm. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>